What's going on YouTube? It's Don here from Nova Spirit, and today we're going to be doing a little walkthrough on OBS and streaming on YouTube Gaming. For those of you who doesn't know what YouTube Gaming is, it's a new gaming streaming service uh, launched yesterday to directly compete with Twitch. So I want to cover the basics on how to get you streaming. Let's get started. Alright guys, to get started we're going to need open broadcaster software. And I'm going to leave a link in the description below on where to download it. I currently have it installed and I'm using it right now to screen record. Um, after you have downloaded the software, you're going to run through the installation prompt and you're going to be presented with this type of program. Now, I'm going to have a quick run through on this. Alright, on the left side you have scenes and I really consider that as profiles. And in each scene you can actually add and take away uh, items. Uh, for instance, you could capture your screen, you could capture a game, you could capture your webcam and you set it up uh, to a point where how you want the stream to look like. Now the juicy part that you guys want is in the settings. You want to open up settings, settings, go into uh, broadcast settings. Now from here you're going to change streaming service to YouTube and for your primary key I'm going to show you how to get that now. Head back to your YouTube channel and I usually just click upload. After clicking upload you know you're going to be presented with the default upload screen. On the right side now you have this thing called live streaming. Hit get started or hit live streaming and here it will take you directly to your stream now. Now you can see it's offline but on the bottom you have the stream name slash key. That's what you want to put into your open broadcaster software right here. And you never want to show this key to anybody. You don't want to, um, somebody could just take that key and use your stream and stream whatever they want. And, you know, you just don't want to display this. Now, now that you copied it and you paste it into um, the path right over here inside your OBS, you're going to have to hit apply. When you change screens and you don't hit apply, it's not going to save. So make sure you hit apply. Then, um, I have a little settings here and there. I go into encoding. I change this to 4000. Uh, you can change it to 3000 or 5000. It all I think 4000 works the best for me. Um, it gives me enough buffer to upload. It's not massive. And uh, people who are watching my stream could also you know download that at that bit rate. Um, it also works very well with 1080. Now, the next setting I'm going to be doing is video. I have a custom setting of 1920 and 1080. And I have three monitors, so I just do a custom size and I make sure it selects it uh, on the first monitor. And the FPS I change to 60 because I'm going to be uploading in uh, 60 frames per second for my games. Once we're done with that, we could hit OK. And I am actually going to start up a game, which is going to be Heroes of the Storm. And we're going to check out how this works. All right, let me shrink everything down. I'm gonna, I have my test profile. I'm gonna right click, add, game capture. All right, I'm gonna click here and select Heroes of the Storm. Okay, preview the stream to make sure it's gonna be recording Heroes of the Storm. All right, if you want to add a webcam, you could um, add, Video capture device. Preview stream. I don't know what's recording. I think it's recording my 3D printer. Hit edit scene if you want to resize it and move it anywhere you want. Hit it again and it'll lock into place. Now that I know everything's all set, I'm going to hit start streaming. Give it a few minutes and it will actually hit your YouTube channel. I'm gonna show you in one second on how this works. You're gonna see it, it's really cool. You're watching my YouTube channel right now on the left side, the Chrome window that's open. You see, now just switch from offline to starting. and the stream is offline just give it a minute and it'll start kicking in because I think it buffers a couple of seconds ahead of time 
might be because I also have like a lot of things running and I'm trying to <laughs> record and stream at the same time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, please hit that thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, please hit that little subscribe button. And again, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Please take a moment to subscribe. It helps me a lot. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, I'll post the link right here.